Bob's one of those venues that before you got to play it, was it something you chased? I mean, it's definitely one of those iconic honky tonks that you've always heard about. And, uh, you know, just to be able to stand on that stage that all your heroes have stood on, it's almost like, you know, they always talk about the Opry and how, you know, nerve wracking it is, you know, getting in the circle. And to me, Billy Bob's is one of those places too that, you know, it's just such an iconic stage. It's just like, man, it's, you get, you're definitely nervous. The DVD that I used to play all the time on the bus was Merle Haggard here, alive at Billy Bob's. And, uh, you know, Merle is one of my heroes, all time heroes, him, Keith Whitley and George Jones. And I remember playing that, that video over and over again. And, and like I said before, just to be able to stand on the same stage that your heroes have stood on like Merle Haggard is, it's, it's an honor, you know, and it makes you nervous. The feelings I had the first time, uh, it was just, uh, Man, to have all those people out there. You know, I, I love Texas in general because, you know, they just, they love country music and they appreciate especially traditional country music. And to have all those people out there, you know, just cheering me on and, and, and you know, digging the music and being into it, man, it's just a great feeling. Having my handprints, you know, put on the Billy Bob's wall, you know, that's certainly a, uh, a milestone in my career. And, you know, to be up there with all those other guys and, and to be able to see that and other people and your fans to see that and take pictures of that, it's just such an honor to be on that wall. It definitely, uh, you know, gives you affirmation in your career that, you know, you, you've made an impact and, and, you know, that you're worthy enough to be up there on that wall with all those other acts. Well, Easton's played here, I don't know how many umpteen times he's played here. We usually get him once a year, twice a year for the last, I don't know, 10, 15 years that he's been playing here. Uh, one story that sticks out in particular, we had uh, Pam Minnick is obviously in the, in, the, in the horse business and she's one of our owners and Pam, Pam called up one day and she says, hey, I got an opportunity for us. I said, what is it? She said, well, the Clydesdales, uh, are in town and because they had a, an event canceled they just happened to be in Fort Worth randomly on Saturday morning and they have a couple hours to kill. Would you like to do some photo ops? I said, damn right, I'd like to do some photo ops with the Clydesdales, you know. I called Robert Gallagher and Robert says, hey man, let me see if Eastern wants to be a part of that. It'd be a great opportunity to go um, get him involved with it as well. I said, sure, come on. So later that day, I mean, here comes, I mean, there's probably 1,500, 2,000 people out in the plaza and here comes the Clydesdales. Here comes in. There's the Easton Corbin, you know, is popping them, you know, on the on the hitch. So of course he's got the the Clydesdale guy there with him. But it was cool. He was the the photo op of, of coming through. So it was really cool for him to come out and and be a part of that. And take a lot of pictures with the fans right there that day. So uh, we have always appreciated Easton coming in the way he uh, does his show and, and entertains the crowd. Man, he's walking here as long as he wants to play.